We need a we need an entertainer. Have you ever listened to a Josh Moon stream? This guy sounds like I don't need Chester the Molester doesn't do it justice to what this guy sounds like. Donga dead air all throughout the show. That guy's not an entertainer. He's a liar and a fraud and a charlatan and a fucking spurg. Venice Nimbro says Mastodon or Pleroma is the way to go. Even you could set up your own thing like a certain hate website did. A uh, certain hate website. I the problem with Mastodon or, or Pleroma and setting it up ourselves is like, you know, we could do at, you know, at killstream.live, but then you're going to get like, you know, like uh, Hitler at killstream.live, you know, saying certain things over and over and over again and getting us they, into getting us into more trouble. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, anything they're doing over at Broke Dick Farms, I don't give a fuck about. I hope the place goes under, and I don't give a fuck about them. That's the dead, honest truth. <laughs> I really don't give a fuck. And so, now, you know, I can sit up here and lie to you, but I don't give a fuck. I wouldn't care. I won't even, I could go further, but I really don't give a fuck. Uh, Super Chat, I wouldn't care if they carried Josh Moon out in handcuffs or in something else. I really wouldn't give a fuck. Studio I can says, Ralph, you... I, I didn't say nothing. I'm just saying. I wouldn't care. Studio IKN says, Ralph, you and Jim must reunite to lead us into Gamergate 2.0. That's what You could that's have what tweeted it, Donald. You could have tweeted it, but you didn't. Yeah. I don't know. I can sit here and lie to you guys and say, oh, you know. In theory, yeah, I hope everybody makes it. You know, uh, free speech, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in reality, don't care. Don't give a fuck. That's the truth. All right. Now, <laughs> definitely not trying to get on the same strategic page either. Uh, definitely not. Definitely not. Um, although I have I have looked at the Fediverse and stuff. You know, if something's worth it, it's worth it. Uh, but I don't care what they're playing. This is the same guy who spurred out for three months about Section 230 when it was clear that was never going to fucking get repealed anyway. He was just using that to grift more dollars from his fucking dumbass autistic audience uh, who doesn't know any better, who can't fucking actually know what's going on with politics. All you dumb fucking autists over there who don't know shit about the real fucking world. I could have told you, and if you watched this show, you would have known Section 230 wasn't getting repealed. Uh, it was just a grift so Josh Moon could get some more $100 exclusive donators. That's what it was about, and you're fucking dumb. That's the truth. That's the fucking truth. You want some more truth? You want some more red pills? There's a couple of red pills for you dumb motherfuckers. All right, now, Gator, here's the link, sir. I've said I've said too much already. I've said too much already. Oh, one more came in. Finish Nimbro says, I was just saying, I know I wasn't throwing you in that boat. He said he's not a fan boy. Yeah, I know. And by the way, um, obviously I'm not either, but I saw what they were doing. I mean, I wouldn't rule out. I wouldn't completely rule out. You know, if there's an idea that I think has merit, I'm not so stubborn that I won't do it just because I don't like somebody. Um, but I don't really know that that's the way to go at this point. Again, no harm in setting one up. I agree with that, but I don't know. This guy's preaching that this is the same dumbass who lies about everything. doesn't know what's going on about any of the stuff he actually fucking talks about. He, he lied about Section 230 for months, and now he's talking about Fediverse, which he talked about before years ago. This is going to be the panacea. This is going to fix it all. This is what, if you were smart, this is what you'd be doing. Huh? Well, you know what? Some guy living in some shithole hovel in Eastern Europe, I'm not really concerned with what they think is smart. I don't think it's smart to live in a fucking... <laughs> anyway... Well, Man, I think it, it would have been very. I think it would have been very smart to have you know tried to make as many friends as possible instead of oh, you yeah. know oh, yeah. getting you super mean... jealous about a you know a guy that has a, a shitload of fans and then you know doxing him and his girlfriend and trying to send your uh, your spurks to chase him offline because you want to steal all his money and steal all his fans and then getting mad at the people that kind of stood up with him and supported him and called you retarded for trying to spread his docs around you know it's just the little things like that that start to add up and start to make people realize what a gigantic steaming pile of shit of a human being you are and then at the end of the day you're just a sad little man that wishes you could have all of the things that other people have but you're too fucking stupid to be able to do it it is sad it's a sad story at the end of the day and we've talked about his animosity for me especially his animosity for Medicare. he hates jim 
Like, he can't stand it. He's like, oh, Jim, got so much money for bringing Kiwi Farms threads. Well, goddammit, you motherfuckers aren't entertaining. We need a we need an entertainer. Have you ever listened to a Josh Moon stream? This guy sounds like, I don't need Chester the Molester doesn't do it justice to what this guy sounds like. Donga dead air all throughout the show. That guy's not an entertainer. He's a liar and a fraud and a charlatan and a fucking spurg. That's what he is. He fucking had this wild story about I bought Pansu a fucking smartphone and she took it and didn't go to D.C. Literally just made this shit up out of thin air. I bought a $65 throwaway cell phone with one month's use for a backup stream in D.C. And that shit didn't even work. And she was in D.C. She wasn't at the Capitol because we were very clear. Don't go to that. And that's all recorded. It's all recorded, Gator. It's fucking public record. And this guy still gets on air, lies about it, because he's a fucking fraud. He doesn't even know the people that he's supposed to know all about and be the expert of. He fucking lies about because he's a fucking fraud, dude. And anybody that says any different is a fraud themselves. And that's Well, he just got the to. gayest personal army in human history. I mean, that's really what it boils down to. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, just let the record speak for itself. Go back and watch his stream yesterday. Somebody sent me the clip. I was laughing about it with Pansy. They're like, what? How did this even happen? I bought her a smartphone. She didn't go to DC. She took the smartphone instead. Dude, she was on the show at the end of the show. She came back. We talked to her on air. It's just really amazing the shit they'll just make up out of thin air. When, let's be honest, there's plenty of shit to use against me that that's based on reality, at least based in reality. This shit is just so fucking fraudulent and pathetic. I want to watch QAnon. That's how bad it is. Gator, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's hit it right now. I think we have a right for a new declaration of independence. I just think it needs to be done if we can't fix things peacefully at the right time, right place. You can see how, though, Trump wants a 10-day investigation of fraud. We were about to get it. How storming the Capitol screwed all that up. Q tells us stuff in all of its lies, is what I'm saying. You keep, you keep interrupting me. Because dude. you're lying! Because you're full of shit! <laughs> no, wait, we, we, gotta, we gotta skip it. Man, they always do that, give away the good shit at the, end, at the beginning. All right, 48 seconds. You ready, Gator? Yeah, give me just a second. Give me just a second. <laughs> oh all right, I'm God. there. Raging Humanist says, damn, Ralph coming in hot. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't going to do that segment. And, it, you know, the Super Chat spurred but, me into it. Anyway, just look, try it. I don't want to. We said enough. We said enough. 48 seconds. Okay. You ready, Gator? 